everyone back again um, just wanted to share experience with you and um, to do the unboxing video uh, purchased the Unran security system uh, which is a, a channel PoE and VR system with the four cameras um, this is a full HD 1080p setup um, so yeah well, let's do the unboxing um, set it up and um, hands on how, how it looks and is it worth it right so let's have a look what's inside I have very limited space so bear with me Right. Here it is. Um, let's have a look what's inside. So, yeah, like I said, it's full HD, 3.6 millimeter um, cameras. Let's see what's inside. And in box we have power supply, and internet cable. Ah, this is the cable protection seals the cable so there's no moisture getting into it um, very nice with the oh, rings a couple of bolts in there with the wall plugs for fitting the cameras um, so yeah mains lead power adapter out so that we need it later on. Next box we have ah, come on. Right. Um, the NVR itself. Um, Quick manual over here for beginners. Yeah, if you're not happy. <coughs> um, just a quick look. I hate those manuals myself personally. So um, yeah, guide is in English. So yeah, very handy. We've got some QR code um, for apps installing how to set it up passwords systems um, yeah there's a bit of reading there so this will leave it for later on what you get is a CD in there as well And a nice label for security 24 video surveillance. So yeah. This for later on. Just the MVI itself. Very well sealed. Not like Apple product, but not bad. Right, so infrared sensor probably for the remote control. Right, yeah. Um, PoE connections. 
8 channel this is this NVR um, 1 terabyte inside so you've got a VGA connection um, straight to the monitor um, you can connect that to your TV with a, a HDMI uh, connection um, you've got a couple of two USBs um, and your main internet connection DC in on off um, so yeah and we are box with one terabyte inside there next one we have right that's the main thing I was really very interesting about it um, in the picture looked really nice um, and run it did say like um, 3 megapixel cameras um, 180p you got um, night vision infrareds um, little protection for the rain make it make it keep it lens clean so yeah um, connections usually um well if it's not longer than 100 meters on these cameras you can run on internet cable so it doesn't need the power supply um, but if it's longer distance from your NVR longer than 100 meters you have to connect the power supply firm which is you have to buy this separately it's not included in the kit um, so yeah you get four nice cameras I'm really interesting about the full HD quality it's nice build you can't tell anything about it um, it looks pretty good for for the quality so yeah um, four cameras in there let's get them out of the way ah. that comes off so you can leave it in um, without the protection can be inside so it makes less a little bit little bit less attention with that black hood um, yeah it's not coming off that easy good um, so yeah that's four cameras very nice packed You can tell it's a little bit um attention was in the in the packaging. Not like whatever. Um right and what's inside for the last box. Right. Two cables, which is as far as I remember, these two are 30 meter ones. And these two are 15 meter ones. So it's two for longer distances and two for closer distance. Usually those two goes for the front, the way I understand. Um, and those ones for the back, which is a little bit further. So yeah, pretty much it in the box. Let me get the extension and let's hook it up. Everything and set it up and see how it runs. Just another quick, just to mention, um, one cable is for UK plug and what's really nice included in the kit, European plug, so it's really handy. Uh, but what I'm missing, that's internet cable, what I'm missing is 
HDMI cable, HDMI lead, just mouse, not in the box, so no VGA connection, um, you, so you, you haven't got the cable how to connect to the monitor, um, and no HDMI cable. So all you get is four cameras, four cables for the cameras to connect them to the MVR, um, power supply, USB mouse cable, which is with the mouse, um, internet cable connected to the, your router, then two leads, two cables for the mains. plugs and um, cable seals so you can't connect this to monitor so if you haven't got the spare cable with this setup exactly this setup you have to buy a cable separately because you can't connect it you won't be able to see what you're doing with the monitor um, you have the internet access which is live streaming live view over the, your phone or tablet or, or your computer once you set it up so you to set it up you need a monitor you need it connected to the monitor or to your TV so when you're buying this kit make sure you buy the cable whatever is suitable for you because um, it's not included in the kit unfortunately right so just before I started um, plugging everything in um, I have opened the top cover just to check the connections for the hard drive um, is it everything plugged in and um, because some of them arrive not plugged in um, hard drives only just put it in and cables just hanging um, so it's pre-installed and when on this one was everything plugged in so once I opened it um, so yeah, now literally is ready to set it up and put the sockets in, put, connect the cameras in and let's see how it's running. Right, so I'm just going to plug cameras to test it. Um, easy as that. And get the camera. And camera connects into this socket. If I can do it by one hand, well just like that so just to test it how it runs um, power supply and I'm gonna connect over the HDMI and let's see on the TV how it looks right so um, all plugged in let's see how it's working okay And it's, so cameras actually um, got set set up itself, um, picked it up automatically. Um, now is I think it's time to. Um, to set up the app and um, and let's see how it how it works um, on the on the live streaming over the phone. So um, I had to grab the manual um, just to have a look how to do it and then what functions to to, to go through. 
Um, there's a few settings in here. But anyway, I managed to find it. It's not very easy, but you know, worth looking in the manual. So yeah, um, on any empty screen, even on the, any camera, I think, um, I, I tried it on black screen. Go to um, main menu um, to set up the app on your phone. You need to download the app, which is called the nail. It searches automatically for the, all the devices that is available on the on my network, obviously. So all I need to do is now, um, you come up with the same what's on the screen. So I just click add. Oh, come on. Okay. Um, it's asking for your device name, so I just call house, just click OK. This is add successful. Some sponsors have been opened for you. Okay. And it's actually showing everything what's on the TV, showing on the phone as well. At the moment, it's only on two cameras connected. So um, I won't be able to see anything else. I will have to attach another two. Um, but yeah. So screen setup for the network is done. Obviously, um, you can set up for um, email alerts. So basically, cameras has a motion detection um, and what you can do as soon as it detects the motion it can actually send you an email as an alert um, that can be set up in here as soon as you fit in the um, fill in your devices and the message um, and your email address username and passwords um, Probably those two, you just leave it as it is. Um, and then just type in the message, whatever, for whatever camera you set it up. <coughs> and that way you can receive the emails for the motion detection. Right, the net service. We don't need that. We're not going to touch it because it's not even. I didn't. I didn't even read about it in the manual. Um, obviously, that's probably connected to the network, to the internet. Uh, but this is happening automatically because you plug it in at the back. Um, I'm just going to click OK. Um, right. So you got um, alarms motion detection for the channel you can enable it or disable it um, if you enable you can go to advanced settings um, you can set the sensitivity uh, which it says at the moment in the middle but you can just change it the settings um, for the camera screen um, where whereabouts you want it because some some of them they don't have the areas that is covered so you set it up where you want it. At the moment, it's set uh, default to um, middle. Um, you can set for the recording channel tower, PTZ activation, um, which is very nice. Um, you can set the PTZ cameras, which is um, I'm thinking to add to this system one of the PTZ um, PTZ cameras. Um, so yeah, uh,
So, uh, that's for that. Um, video blind, uh, video loss. So yeah, that's a couple of settings that you can go through. I'm not sure what, what that ones are for, but needs a bit of reading in manual if this is something extra needed. Um, that's all the information. Um, that's all the log. Hard drive information. Uh, this is option with a one terabyte. Um, so it's a thousand gigabytes. Uh, that's for the Iran website, but for the general information. Recording. Um, basically, this is all preset as a default. Where, what's what. Um, but I think you can set it up for the special days. When are you recording? When you are constantly recording? Um, backup system. Uh, so, um, general system information. Um, Display settings, um, video, we can set this. Display settings. Resolution. We're probably gonna go for maximum. Um, You can rename each camera, um, so you will know which room is set up if it's inside, uh, um, or set up as a front or garden or whatever. You can name the cameras, so it's a little bit easier when you when you receive um, motion detection. Um, space nine two nine sixty four gigabyte. Read and write property, okay. Accounts, um, auto maintenance, restore, upgrade, so you can upgrade the system if there is a software available for this. Um, other than that, um, pretty much that's about it. Um, you can go in each camera settings. Um, nothing, nothing really explained in here. It's all preset, pretty much. You can you can change the system time, remote reboot, restore, default, video and code, machine name and all that stuff is on there. Um, pretty much, you leave it as it is. Don't touch anything. So yeah, um, you can move cameras the way you want it. You can set them set them up on your screen. Make it as a, this is as the first camera. Make it that one as a second camera. I'm not sure um, with the picture quality. Very hard to say something at the moment because it's really bad lighting so cameras um, I saw at some point that they don't know what to do um, with the night vision um, they want to switch off the, um, the all the colors and turn into black and white and turning into um, infrared system uh, thinking that's uh, nighttime done that but retested it again 
and come back to the colours again. So um, it's a bit not enough lighting in the room itself. Um, so it's very hard to judge the picture quality, especially when it's moving. Well, yeah, there you go. See, um, this camera now changed to um, night vision. It's bright enough in the room. Yeah, so like I said, it's really hard to say something about the HD quality at the moment. Um, it seems alright. I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to do a quick review once it's set up outside. Um, just to see how the quality for the pictures. Once it's set up outside, I, I turn everything on again um, for the, all the cameras and I start video over there and just to see it, how, it, how the quality wise is there I mean how, how number plates is visible for the vehicles driving by um, On the system itself it says this is full HD but I can't say at the moment is that full HD or is that 720p So yeah, anyway, um, just to finish this off, probably needs to be setting up everything outside and then once it's set up outside, it will be easier to have a look. Alright guys, I got the, all the cameras hooked up, all set up outside now. Um, it was a bit of a challenge, but anyway, out of this old kit, um, I would not recommend buying the, with these cameras. The, uh, NVR itself, yes, one terabyte, yes, you can connect it to the internet and watch it on a mobile phone device, um, live stream, whatever you are, um, and it's pretty much, well, it is fast enough if your internet is fast enough. Um, I, I tested it outside tonight, um, I was away um, and I've tried everything I mean connecting and checking how it looks and everything on the phone um, yes connects really quick you can instantly see what, what's going on another little problem um, not like other problem but the the alarm system system um, which is for uh, motion detection is very sensitive in the, uh, even if you set it up to lowest which is it gives you an option um, if you set up switch it on and you go advanced you set up out of highest higher high middle, lower, lowest, if you go to lowest option it will still trigger the notification um, which is uh, it's called buzzer over here um, yeah so it's very sensitive you can change the area of your camera that's how much is will be detecting but I've tried that and it's still so sensitive on lower settings um, so I don't know over the longer time uh, I may get used to it and setting it up differently because there is a different times that you can set up this alarm um, you can run this at the daytime and it will trigger alarm only daytime if you set it up different hours from to what time to what time um, it will switch it off at a certain time if you set it that, that way other than that I didn't like it honestly um, the main issue the main issue 
is cameras itself it's not hd it's not full hd I, I bought it as a full hd kit it's not hd don't waste your money don't buy this kit cost me 200 280 pounds and cameras are absolutely stone century age i mean they just the first, well, literally, you can say this the first ones came out. I mean, you can see the picture itself. Um, I, I can make make a zoom on the full screen. But I had a couple of cars parked up in the front over here. That's my front house. Um, you can't see the plates. It's just blare everything. I tried to make a changes on the brightness. Um, I can show you the settings. I've tried. I've tried this. That's the best resolution I got it out of them. If you set it up to what it was, which is like everything was on fifty. It's horrible. It's horrible. I mean, yes, picture itself, not bad. But when you want to see the plates, number plates of, of the vehicle, if you want to see the faces, there is no way you can see anything. You, you won't be able to understand what kind of person. You won't be able to recognize it. It's just you're going to see the action, what's going on. So it's complete waste of money. Absolutely awful kit. Absolutely awful cameras. So yeah what I'm gonna do I'm gonna this is a night time um, as you see well camera is, is pretty high um, it's uh, uh, li literally at the ceiling of, of where we, we get out from the house um, I didn't put any higher because I thought I won't be able to see the faces, to recognize the faces. Um, so it's high enough, um, plus I, I've got the nice decent view, um, wide enough and everything. Uh, as you see, there is a night vision, infrareds, just blaring in one dot. They <laughs> Okay, maybe they're supposed to be, but I don't think that that much. I don't think this is should be in this color. <laughs> the, uh, the grass white, but it's no snow. Them little trees over there on the corner, they are like white, but they are green. Daytime, they're green. I will show you the images, um, how they look in the daylight. Um, colors, yeah, beautiful, but nighttime, this night vision is absolutely awful. Um, right, so that's back garden. Um, in this area, I should be able to see it. I mean, I know it's dark enough. You've got light in there, um, so it's, it's it's covering up that area, so I can see it quite far away. Um, but that's separate lighting. Now, cameras, infrareds, they are just right here. So the gra this is the grass area, nice low one in there, that's white, it shouldn't be white, it shouldn't be that much white, I mean it's so, so bright white it's like a snow in there, but it's no snow in there, that's a normal grass, it's just completely awful, I mean it's not calibrated, the, the infrareds they are not calibrated to these cameras, so it's just completely pitch white, I tried to adjust the settings, um, you can go in each camera and you can set up each camera different way. I dropped it down the contrast. I tried to drop it down um, brightness. Not this much, but you know. And check this out. Now, if you drop the brightness, the grass it still looks like a snow, but it's not as white. But you 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 can you just still can't see this. It's. I, I had a situation. I had somebody walking out and then doing the like a test run. The cameras 
cameras infrareds blaring so much that you can't even see the face the face is just white all you can see is the two dots because of ice shiny rest of it is just pitch white you can't recognize the person at all so it's absolutely awful infrareds very good yeah but not for these cameras and they're not calibrated so like i said you can make adjustments but that didn't help i tried i tried different settings uh, i've been playing for hours with this that didn't help so i left it as a 50 i dropped the contrast and i, I, I lifted up a little bit situation in here um why i've done this um it's a bit better quality of the picture if i put this into hundreds i don't know i can show you um it doesn't drop dr dramatically But a tiny bit is a little bit better in, in, in the resolution itself. That way is just a standard picture. Um, you, you can see in the corner over here where there's a little bit less lighting. It's just no, no resolution at all. It's just completely like a dark corner with not, not understandable picture what is in there. Um, but if you change the settings a little bit higher. it's a little bit better in the area where I need to see um, it's still bad enough like I said it's zero full HD that's not full HD at all I don't think it's 720p it's so horrible that I think it's it's like a SD lowest TV lanes as possible I mean cable yeah it's BOE it's over, over the internet cable but it's horrible now that's another camera set up on um car park right next to the house the daytime it was uh, uh, other cars right parked uh, right by the road so i was trying to see the the number plates you you can't read them it's just quality so bad that you can't read them there's no way you can read the, the, the plates i tried adjusting again each camera you can adjust uh, all the settings I tried it I, I found that this, this is the best quality of the picture I left it that way uh, it's still horrible it's still horrible so yeah um, I got the side entrance it is well nothing to nothing to see over here is just a corner that is blind spot so I set the camera there other than that I mean all these you can attach more cameras because it's empty um, empty channels there I only got four there so you can set it up eight on this uh, on this um, NVR it's showing up to 10 but I don't know why um, that's the way system is to fill it up fill it in the screen probably um, but anyway, um, I'm going to make uh, just another video um, to add to this, how it looks in daytime. Um, but like I said, don't waste your money, don't buy it. It's just not worth it. Not worth it buying it. Um, right, so this is a just to show you how it looks at the daytime um, daytime video quality is not bad compared to the night um, but still as you can see um, you can't see the number plates you can't read them out the quality is a little bit better than SD closer to 720p but still um, you can't read number plates like I said so you won't be able to recognize the human's face um, no matter what settings you would go
that's the best you can get out of it. So yeah, um, don't waste your money, don't buy these cameras, they're not full HD, that's in fact, if you want to go just for the budget 720p, like this one is, uh, roughly, go for this kit, but if you want something a little bit better quality, be ready to pay a little bit more money. Uh, yes guys, um, if you, I will be doing more videos, so if you want to see more, please subscribe, like the video. Um, I'll see you soon. <laughs>